Hello, everybody! Welcome back to some Tales of Exilia the Second. And uh, today, well, you might remember, we gotta be paying off some debt here. And how are we gonna be paying off the debt, you might be wondering? Honestly, I have no idea. We're gonna figure it out, though. The other members of your party will act on their own in town with them. while the main story is not underway. Something good might happen if you try talking to them in town once in a while. They'll follow you of their own accord if you leave town, so don't worry about bringing them with you. <coughs> I guess I'm glad they... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm glad they clarify that, just in case, you know, you're not sure about that. What What about Elle's feeling? What, what is she doing right now? Luger, you and Julius live together, right? Just the two of you? <coughs> uh, I mean the two of you and Rolo. So, the three of you. Yeah. <coughs> That's just like yeah. me. Me and my daddy live together. When I was little, there was an old cat called Taddy that lived with us, too. Where do you live, El? Taddy. I promise we won't tell your enemies. I don't even know. The boat I was on stopped, and there were all these crates there marked to Triglav. I hid in one, and that's where I ended up. So you don't know how to get back home? Hmm. Nope, she don't know how to get back home, thanks to being on a boat. Unfortunate. Let's head back to Luger's place for now. What? Bro, what do you mean, let's head back to Luger's place? Should you be saying, let's head back to your place? I am Luger. Am I not Luger anymore? Who am I? What am I? Where am I? I don't even know anymore at this point, so... Uh... Oh. Cool. It's so hard to find good help these days. Oh, hey! Over here! You guys looking for work? You bet! It's your lucky day. I've got jobs coming out the wazoo. I'm talking spurious corp orders here, so you know each gig is a gold mine. At least if you're not an amateur. Worth a shot, right? We'll back you up. <laughs> True. It is worth a shot. Need some money? Well, it's time to get a job. You can make some serious bank and help people in need of in the process by defeating monsters or delivering items for them. Get out there and make that gold. Wake up, get up, get out there. I mean, what? <laughs> uh, let's see. Confirm details and take on jobs. You can take up to five jobs at one time. You will be rewarded for your efforts upon completing a job and returning to report it. Hunting missions with the uh, displayed required you to defeat the specified amount of given target. Fight them in the location specified. Jobs with the icon displayed are collection jobs where you gather the given amount of materials. You can get these materials by finding them in the specified location or by earning them from enemies who drop them in battle. Jobs with the exclamation mark icon displayed are event jobs. The event will not be displayed if all the members listed in the party section are not present. Okay, so, I mean... <coughs> how do I know... Can I just, like, grab... No, I can't grab everything. Okay, uh... Why is it red? What does it mean? Con cannot contract job due to the following. Do not have appropriate title yet. Yeah, that's what I thought. What do they mean? I don't understand why it's red. Did it mention anything about those or no? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, goods, fossilized shell, all rest high road. All wait. A less high road. All rest, I'm pretty sure, is a... I think that's Xenoblade 2, if I'm not mistaken. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, um, no. Duval Station, Beautiful Feathers times 10. I don't see any reason not to accept it. I don't know why I wouldn't. <coughs> accept the jobs that give you more money, because yes, money, of course. Uh, you can do that. I mean, smashing some ribbits sounds like a fun time, doesn't it? Horse studies? Yeah. Yeah, smash some horses, am I right? Elite monsters, nothing. Okay. Alright. 
Hey, what's up? So then you get the hang of battle yet and come as important to master the basics, and that means going back and reviewing once in a while. Um, what? It's like the section you like to review. Oh, okay, so it's just gonna redo tutorial stuff if I want to. I mean, it's nice that it's there, I guess. I don't think Exilia 1 had anything like that. I mean, what if you just take a several month... Okay. Uh, what if you just take a several month gap in playing and you just forget some of the key battle mechanics? Like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Help! <coughs> I'm so confused. And that very easily could happen. Like, so, so easily. Especially even, even in this setting, too, when maybe I'm not recording every day. I'm not even, maybe I'm not even recording every week. I mean, today is, what, the 7th? And when was the last episode I recorded? Granted, episode 1 has not come out as of the time of this recording. I mean, it's been four days. It's not that long. Recorded the first one on the 1st, two on the 3rd, and then one today on the 7th. Uh, so I'm having a little bit of a, a gap in recording at the moment. I mean, thankfully at the moment I'm going to have a little bit of a backlog since I haven't put out episode 1 yet, but... <coughs> yeah, I don't know. I think the day of daily LP episodes is over. I don't know if that's going to happen. I mean, I'm going to try to have them up as often as I can, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing them daily anymore. Just on the account of... You know, there's there's different variables. There's me recording stuff. There's me waiting for thumbnails. There's me um, not recording. It's, it's, well, I mean, a lot of it's gonna be me not recording probably, just because I'm lazy. I'm gonna try not to be as lazy as what was the Exilia one though. That that got bad. That actually got really bad. This is not gonna be what we do though. We are gonna play at least a couple times a week, a couple sessions a week, you know. <coughs> What's today? The seventh, and the first was the first episode. Yeah, so I started on Wednesday. Today's a Tuesday. So I had like three recording sessions in in the span of a week. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I, I think something's gonna suffer here. Either my recordings are gonna suffer, or my my um short after work, before work streams are gonna suffer. <laughs> so. Something's gonna suffer there, and I, I don't know which one it's gonna be, but... Who knows? I'm just resigned to the fact I'm never catching up on my streaming backlog at this point, so I'm just like, you know... Maybe we'll be fine, we'll be okay! I hope he's not too bad. Avoid strong enemy attributes. If you attack an enemy with a strong attribute, not only will the damage doled out be cut in half, but the enemy will be able to counter you without staggering. If the enemy has a high chance of counterattacking, check using R1 to make sure that your attacks are not the enemy's strong attribute. I need to just get unlimited vacation time from work, obviously, and then just, um, you know, stream literally every day for 12 hours a day, and then, you know, that my backlog will be destroyed, just like that. <laughs> there will be no stopping it. <coughs> I legitimately wonder, if I just, if I just streamed every day for 12 hours, like, let's just say I had a stupidly long vacation for no reason, um, I wonder what would happen, I don't even know what that said, I didn't read it, I'm bad, um, but hypothetically, if I did that, how long would it take me to catch up in my streaming backlog? There would still be... Four, five, tier four streams every month. So th those are at least a few days a month, and probably and probably at least one Genshin stream too. I would have to figure. Uh, you factor that all in. How long would you re realistically think it would take to catch up on my stupidly long backlog? I mean, we got rid of Xenoblade X. That was a long one. I mean, it wasn't super long, but it was still long. It's like what, fourteen streams? And that was even with like a couple short ones in there too, so it wasn't that bad. It could have been worse. Uh, there's going to be the other Udawe Ramono game that I have to do. There's going to be three hopes. Like those are going to be like stupidly long games there. Lots of JRPGs in there for sure. Vitality. Intelligence. He learned intelligence. Good job, Jude. You are now an intelligent being. Congratulations. Uh, how do I look at... 
probably not there, honestly. Uh, library? Where, where do you even find... Hello? Uh... Hello, hello! You rang? I mean, I might have rang, but it doesn't mean anything, you know? Well, I have enough money to pay off almost 25% uh, of that, I think. <coughs> Actually, I think I have more than enough to pay off 25% of that. That's cool. Good go, let's go, we're rich! This is really just making money simulator at this point. 100 gold? Oh man, we are just rolling in the bank right now. Wait, I can't get Link encounters, can I? Oh, that kind of sucks. Wind? Where do I get wind? Oh. Oh, that's wind. <coughs> we did it indeed. Title nearly unlocked. Cross counter beginner. I have to look up my actual total list. Uh, let's see. Where was the last list I posted here? It was right there. So, okay, Pokemon Violet is done, so that's not on the list. So we got Lost Odyssey, we got Three Hopes, we got Grandia HD, which is, I believe, two games in one collection. Fi the rest of Final Fantasy XII, which honestly, I don't think that one will take too long. Dragon Quest XI, I expect that one to take a little while. Uh, the Star Wars game they did on May 4th, that's probably not going to be too long. Tears of the Kingdom... Mm, who knows? Probably will be like a me. I'm guessing a medium length series. Probably shorter than Xenoblade X. Uh, Final Fantasy 13. I can't see that being too long. Assassin's Creed Origins. Mm, short, medium. I'm guessing. Energy Breaker. Probably. I think we're actually pretty deep into that. We're, we gotta be at least halfway through that game already. So maybe two or three on that one. Persona 4 Dancing, that got finished. Uh, Trails in the Sky would probably take at least a few more. Pacing on that one is a little bit... It's good, it's a good game, but it is a little bit slow pacing, I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> uh, Uduwe Ramona, which I already mentioned, that will be a very lengthy one, I would assume. At least as long as Mask of Deception. I don't think it'll be as long as Mask of Truth. Uh, Golden Sun, probably a short, medium. I think the first Golden Sun was pretty short. Where's the freaking hole? I could not find the hole. Jeez Louise. Pikmin 4, I expect that one to be done in one more long stream. Uh, Resident Evil 2, I had another playthrough to do on that one. I did do, what was it, Leon I did, and then there's like another character I gotta play. Which, I was told I should do that. But it's not important, like, I don't have to do it right now, so I'm just gonna do that later, I guess. And then Okagi Shadow King. So yeah, I mean... It's gonna be something. I know Reaper Dev wants me to do Resident Evil 4 this month. And I think he's Tier 4 again, so he should be okay to do that again. Uh, I know Lauren wanted to do... Well, the game on her list for this month is supposed to be... A pretty short game, so I don't even expect that to stay on the list. Finish jobs. There are several jobs that revolve around defeating certain enemies outside of town. If you're going to be fighting enemies anyway, be sure to take on these jobs as well so you can kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, exactly. But how do I know I'm finished with them? I think that's the thing that's bugging me right now, is I don't know how to know if I'm finished. I can just do that? Okay... I feel like there's something I'm just missing here, and I don't even know what I'm doing now. Oh, job. Okay, so Beautiful Feathers got that. Report to the job board. <coughs> so, I'm guessing that means I've already done it. This doesn't really tell me how many I've killed. Deliver two fossilized shells. Okay, so I just... Ugh, this is actually kind of confusing. There's got to be a better place to look at this, isn't there? A lest plants and fossilized shell. Alright, won't be a big deal. It won't. I guarantee you it will not be a big deal because we'll get everything. So yeah, I'm looking at that. There's a few that are 
kind of intimidating to look at, especially three hopes, considering that will take, I would assume, well, at least three playthroughs. I don't know if there's anything beyond that, but I mean, uh, in at least three playthroughs to beat that. <coughs> and, I don't know, I don't feel like I'm really that far into the game, and I'm, like, still on my first playthrough, and I've, what? What have I, how, how much have I done in that? Have I already done, like, 20 hours worth of content on that? And I feel like, I'm not even close. Have I done 30 hours worth of content? Wait, a less plant, isn't that, a, is that an less plant? Here I am just not even considering the fact that this might be what I'm looking for. It is. It 100% is. Also, have I haven't even been using those. Have I just been ignoring that? I probably have. Slash, slash. I got you good, man. Thing is, the game really should tell you if you've completed the job. I haven't been noticing that at all, so... It's kind of like, hello? Are we done with what we're trying to do? I don't know, a loose stick? Bro. <coughs> Can't just hand me a loose stick and be like, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Beautiful feathers. Hmm. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I reiterate. Do I really have to go into this every single time? I need to find fossilized shells, which, where am I getting that? Are you good? I don't know why. I feel like those would give me fossilized shells. But maybe not. I was about to do it. Land crab! Oh boy, but, um... I guess in a hypothetical scenario, though. How many... How many days and months do you think it would take to actually catch up with that current backlog as it stands? <coughs> A simple hat, it won't protect your head much. I feel like if I had just like three straight months off, I feel like I could do it. I feel like I could power th no. Oh man. Maybe I'm being optimistic. I'm I really do feel like three hopes would just be the biggest juggernaut of all time. <laughs> like, oh gosh. Biggest juggernaut since three houses? Oh boy. I don't think it'd be that crazy. I mean three Three houses was something else. It really was. I need equipment. I was trying to think what I was doing. I can't think and talk at the same time if it wasn't already obvious. Uh, give me that. Wait, did I do it? Okay. I cannot think and talk at the same time anymore. I used to be, you know, okay at doing that. I'm not good at that anymore. I honestly do believe I was okay at it at one point. It's just like, no, no. I can't think. I can't talk. I can't do... I can't do that, man. That's asking too much. Getting strong. He's getting stronger! Wait, I already defeated all the plants. What am I doing? I'm stupid. I don't know what drops these fossilized shells, though. Land crab. <coughs> 50 gold. Wow, man. What, who are you people? Yo! Yo, fossilized shell, let's go! Alright, that's what I'm talking about. We get some fossilized shells, we'd be like, it's time, we got our jobs done, it's now time to go back to town. Uh, this place is currently closed, only trains or ships may enter Triglyph. Can't pass until the panic from the Oscorp incident sells down a bit, come back later, okay. Oh, right, we were in Duval before. And I don't suppose I can fast travel, can I? Probably not. You don't whine and pay your fine right on time. Yeah, I'll do that later. I'll do that as soon as I have enough money, okay? Just you wait, I got you. So yeah, this game is basically just getting out of debt simulator. It's, um... It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun, honestly. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is still a good game, but I, I will say that when you play Exilia 1 and then you go to this and you're literally just fighting to get out of debt the entire time, it's like, why? Why? Why, why is this a thing? Like, hello? I guess it's interesting in a sense, because they kind of make... 
don't know, the contract system. Like, you do some side quests and blah, 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 blah. It's neat. I'm not going to fault it for trying something different. It's not like it failed horribly. It's just a little bit... It's just a little strange is all, you know? <coughs> a strange direction to go in. But, I mean, this whole debt thing is definitely going to be a big mechanic of this entire game. I mean, it is a little bit of a spoiler, I guess. But, I mean, still. It's, it is a big mechanic, and it's like, why? Why did we do this? Why do we have to be like this? I don't know. I do not know. I'm reporting- wait, where do I find you? Oh, Duval Station. Oh. Okay. Wait, what'd that say? What did that say? I didn't see it! Report all! Yo, we got Breeze? I don't know what that even means, but we got it. We got the Breeze. I have money! Okay, and since we got Breeze, that means we can do... Uh, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. HP gain. Okay, well, do I want to switch to Breeze? Ooh, agility. <coughs> yeah, give me, give me that, actually. You know, let's do that. It wouldn't hurt to get him a little vitality, too, you know? I don't know. I think that could be good. Wait. What does that do? Recover 10% HP each time you defeat an enemy. Okay, yeah, we don't need that. And this whole system is still the same as it was before. Like, you need skill points, and everything costs a certain amount of skill points to put on. Magic Guard, Power Charge, 25% lower TP costs, and plus 1 AC after guarding for 0 0.75 seconds. Works with Magic Guard. Interesting. I mean, that's not terrible. <coughs> now, do you have to guard for 0.75 seconds, or do you only have that effect for 0.75 seconds after guarding? Like, I don't know, guarding the tag? Heck, I don't even know anymore. Alright, you are gonna get your intelligence boosted. There you go. Sure, why not? I can't pay off more than that? Oh, fine, whatever. Done. Another surly payment from Luger. Industry slang for super early. So keep up the surly act from now on, okay? I'll try. Once you've paid back a given debt, your next goal will be displayed. Feel free to proceed with the main story at this point if you wish. If you continue to repay your debt, even while progressing the main story, if you keep repaying as much as you can, something good is sure to happen. Hey, Ludes! Nova here with some Ludes. With that payment you just That's made, terrible. Sigh. She take things very seriously, does she? Nah, not really. <coughs> That's just kind of her thing. She's just like, yep. Alright, I mean, I can just literally do that. Done. <laughs> uh, yeah, done. 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 And done. That was easy enough, I suppose. I need 10 fossilized shells. That's a lot. Wait, does that just mean it's hard? Like, hard mode, essentially? Huh. Okay, so I need to go to Duval Station, which I don't know where that is exactly. I think that's to the north? Nova to Luger. Come in, Luger. Yeah, so I could pay off another... Thing, but why would you do that? Why do that, you know? Why do it if you don't need to? Who am I looking for? Um, where did I put the train schedule again? Makes sense to me. Oh, you're probably who I'm looking... no. 
We have to buy a ticket from the ticket machine. Who am I looking for? This is Duval Station, isn't it? Don't talk to me. Uh, I need to take the lost call to found a hand to the police, otherwise I might put the... Okay. Um, yep, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a little lost. I'm a little confused. Wait, what? Do I have enough beautiful feathers? Hold on. Oh, I don't. <coughs> well, that's kind of not good. No, that's definitely not good at all. Um, hold on. Was it really 10? I suppose it doesn't hurt to at least take that, though. Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm stupid. How did I not notice that? Ten beautiful feathers. Okay, so... Alright. Alright. That's nothing we can't handle. I'll do that real quick. No, you fool! I didn't want to fight you. <coughs> I definitely did not want to fight that. Disintegrate, man! Ugh! That's how you show them your true power. Good job. Earn title continuous attack beginner. Kitty crisp? Cuts for turn time by 10% when using kitty dispatch? Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. We haven't even been introduced to that yet. I completely forgot about this. I, how does that even work? I need to remember how this works. That'll drive me crazy. They didn't even drop the beautiful feathers. So maybe they're not the source of beautiful feathers like I thought they would be? Hop on a train back. You know what? Duh. We can do that. We can do that later, right? We don't have to do that right now. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not doing it. I refuse to do it now. Because I definitely want to go on a train. I just thought maybe if I killed those monsters, maybe that would count, you know, but it did not. Actually, wait. Mm. A less chip bees. <coughs> well, maybe at least do that first. I mean, this is... This is it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, bro, why is hitting things so hard? I won't hold back. He's not holding back. Here we go again. Oh yeah, you better watch out. I'm gonna get you now. Okay, that should be good. Job ready to report. So I don't know. I don't know. This probably isn't super important to be reporting this right now. I do kind of wonder because it does have an exclamation mark over it. Maybe it's a little more important. I don't know. It's a delivery mission just like any of the other ones. Like get the materials for it and boom. But you got to give it to someone instead of the job board, which is different. <coughs> so it kind of makes me wonder. A little bit. Oh, right. Triglyph Central Station. Let's do it. That's not where we are on the map. Get it right, game. Get it right. You can open the map by pressing square. The star icon marks your destination in the main chapter of the story. However, the star and exclamation mark icons may occasionally appear in high places. So if you can't find the first, try adjusting the height of the map by using the right stick. Okay, so... If that's what you say, then that's what you say. We got a relief. Let's go. <sighs> Try glad. Let's go. Well, I'm just glad we made it back safely. There's something comforting about coming back here. 
Do you have good memories of this city? Comforting. Yeah, I couldn't tell you why I feel that way. Sometimes I get that feeling too. Like when I hug Rolo or I find something I thought I lost. Yeah, I guess it does kind of feel like that. But you know what I find most comforting? It's when I discover the tomato hiding in my food before I accidentally eat it. <laughs> What? What's so funny? It's nothing. It's just nice taking a break from everything and talking like this. Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's that feels about right. So, <coughs> welcome back to Triglyph, everyone. Welcome back to Triglyph. Where are we going? I already hopped on a train back home, so okay. I guess I'm just gonna go somewhere. That's a big building. That's a very big building. I'm just gonna go over here now. This is our home. We're home. Just kidding. That's not our home. We're home. We made it back. We did it! Meow! Is this where you live? No. Why do you look out of place? I heard about what happened. Sounds like you encouraged quite a debt, but hey, relax. It doesn't make you a criminal or anything. Just do your best to pay off as much as you can while making sure you're not late with your rent, of course. What rent? I pay rent? Well, 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 well. Looks like we found exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, that's true. I guess I could have... You know, they literally recommended that. It's like, hey, uh, you dummy. Look up. Proceed through the main story? Yeah. Let's get through something today. We got through a little bit, but let's get through more. You live here, Rolo? It's mine, though I'm more like a freeloader right now. Feels like I've been back here in ages. Uh, I like how R1 doesn't even really answer the question. I'm just gonna pick L1. Freeloader. That's like a deadbeat, right? <sighs> Chapter three. It all falls apart. Oh man, oh man, we're only in episode 4, I can't fall apart this quickly. So, now what? The cat's Ow. got a point. I think we're all running on fumes. Ugh, tomatoes are gross! You take that back. Don't be picky now, tomatoes are tasty. Okay, I won't put any tomatoes in. No, I gotta be, I gotta, you know, no. Okay, alright, so, I'm gonna just be like, I'm gonna scold her. No tomatoes, now. You need them. I'm expressing my individuality. That's my right. I mean, sure she's right. Know some big words. If this was real, I mean, I'd be like, fine. But, you know. But, you know, it's a video game, so I can just be like, Ha ha ha, tomatoes are going in! You got it. Julius's room is locked? No way, make a meal in the kitchen? Yo, let's make a meal! Buh, 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 buh. Rollo! It's tomato soup. You fell for my trap. Thanks, Luger. It's so yummy. I feel like I'm eating at a restaurant. Hey, you cook as good as my daddy. Speaking of your father, Al, do you know where he is? No. It's funny how so when you play a game a second time, house. you're just like, I ran away oh man. <laughs> That's why I'm going to 
into the land of Canaan so I can wish for my daddy to get rescued from those guys. Do pardon the intrusion, Luger. Mr. Bakor, I'm glad to see you're okay. I'm one of the lucky ones. Ah, hello. No way. Surprise, phony! Oh my gosh, he's back. I guess not. Dude, do you just Ivor. put on a move? <laughs> You're quite an amusing little fellow, aren't you, Ivor? I could use a comic genius as one of my junior agents. <laughs> Thank you, sir. What's this all about? You haven't been watching the news, I take it. New details have emerged about the terror attack, during which a train was hijacked and then crashed into the Oscor plant. The collision caused a massive explosion that ripped through the facility. More than 2,000 casualties were reported, including passengers and employees alike. Damages are said to exceed 10 billion gold, and experts estimate a final cost of at least 50 billion. Authorities identified the alleged mastermind behind the attack. An employee of Spurious Corporation, one Julius Kresnik. Uh-oh. Also, nice one in poster. <laughs> but Julius couldn't have... Couldn't have what? He attacked me at the scene of the crime for crying out loud. The police believe Kresnik didn't act alone. They're investigating persons of interest. Take a wild guess which person is the most interesting. No you way. nothing to do with those creeps. So hey, I protected you, man. Happened to start his job at the station on the day of the attack. Then he vanished with the suspect. Coincidence? <laughs> Come on, you gotta believe us. If you're telling the truth, then prove it. Apprehend Julius. Then the facts are sure to come to light. What? But, but the scary glasses guy is alive and at large. He contacted the CEO's GHS several hours ago. Huh? He's one of my top agents and far too skilled to fall into police custody. Around his little brother, on the other hand, he just might let his guard down. Well, Luger, what do you say? If you agree to catch him, I'll at least keep the police from getting in your way. Fine. I'll catch Julius. Just hold on a second. No. Let's catch him. In the act. A decisive lad. You've made the right choice. Luger. As of now, you are under Spurious Corporation's protection. We have a pair of promising leads. First, your brother made contact with a researcher in Helioborg named Balin. Second, sources allege someone in Marksburg has been asking a lot of questions about Julius. Balin? How am I supposed to remember all that stuff at once, huh? So you want us to check out Helioborg in Marksburg, is that it? But how are we gonna get there without money? Magic! Obviously. You really expect to get paid before doing any work? Honestly, now, Luger. I thought Julius had raised you better than that. <laughs> so, Ivor, how the heck you get tied up in this gang? This I company know, business. You told me you knew Dr. Mathis. It's a long story. Hey, why are you going through all this trouble? I know the surface of this man, but that is not enough. Now, I must measure his depth. I'm s bro, we're at the- we're in episode four and we're already through three chapters? You're all geared up to get out there and find out some in info on Julius, but Luger needs to pay off his debt and get his movement restrictions lifted. Do your best to pay it back. Luger seems like he's down on his luck. You and me will have to work extra hard to compensate- <coughs> That won't last long, though. Ivor and I... I never imagined that'd be how I'd run into Ivor again. How do you even know that freak? And why does he drop down on people like that? Why not? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> how can 
you laugh about it, Luger. He knocked you on your butt like it was nothing. Uh, Ivor's a very skilled warrior. As Maxwell's handmaid, he had to be. Maxwell's handmaid? It's kind of a long story. I see. Sounds complicated. Just throws yeah. it out there without context. It shouldn't have been, but it was. Even though we both wanted the same thing. Sometimes it just be like that, you know? Sometimes it do be like that. Anyway, with that, with a little bit of debt out of the way, another story cutscene started, chapter three finished. I, oh. <laughs> okay. Dropping off some gold? Right, anyway. Uh, we'll go ahead, pay off some more debt on the next exciting episode, I guess. That's just how this game's gonna be, you know? We just pay off debt. Story cutscene, pay off debt. Story cutscene, pay off some debt. Story cutscene, I don't know. I don't remember exactly how that's supposed to go, but yeah, it's gonna be this this a lot probably, so. Strap in for a wild ride, everyone. Tales of Exilia 2 is gonna be a thing. It's gonna be a thing, but it's gonna be a fun thing. Anyway, I'll see you all next episode. Have a good one, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello everybody, you've reached the end of this video, but before we go for the day, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to the tier 4 and above channel members. Phoenix Edgeworth, Akron X2, Gamer Mario 64, Jellocat, and Reaper Dev. Thank you everyone for being awesome and supporting the channel. If you too would like to get shout out at the end of each video and live stream, shout outs are available to all tier 4 and above channel members. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye!